welcome back to my channel finally I'm making another video I can't believe it that's two in one week I'm so excited um, this weather has been so nice and beautiful and it hasn't been too hot so um, I feel I've been in the mood to record and I'm on a roll so uh, keep a lookout for me because I'm gonna be making crazy videos so the first thing I'm gonna start with is skincare I don't have too many things um, Whatever I'm using, these are the items that I've been using for the past four months straight. Um, I've been sticking to the same thing. I haven't changed anything. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start with is the um, Garnier 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 <laughs> um, Ultra Lift Anti Anti Wrinkle Firming Eye Cream, and this is it right there. And I purchased this about a month and a half ago. And look at it. I use it like crazy. I'm, I'm, I can't believe it. I can't believe how quick it went. I don't know why. Um, but when I purchase um, other eye cream, that doesn't really happen. But um, I don't know. I'm guessing that I like it a lot. Now, here's the thing with this. Well, with any eye cream. Um, the ones that I've been purchasing in the past, I have a problem with it because they stay oily. It stays really oily and it's really uncomfortable and I have to get a tissue throughout the day and keep wiping my eyes because it's just so annoying and um, sometimes my eyes, my eyes start um, watering so I have to, you know, always constantly be like dabbing in and stuff like that. And with this, I don't have that problem. Uh, once I put it on, and I put a very little bit, I don't cake it on or anything like that. I just put it on, and I'm good for the rest of the day. It's very moisturized. It's not oily. Um, it's not uncomfortable. My eyes don't water as much. I have really sensitive eyes, so I have to really be careful with what I use under there. Um, and, you know, uh, with moisturizer as well. But um, I've been loving this. I'm so happy with it. I notice a big difference when I'm applying my... Um, my concealer, uh, it's not, um, it's very smooth when I apply it. It doesn't get all nasty and cakey, and um, I don't have the lines, you know, you know, the ugly little lines that you get there. Um, I'm really impressed. I'm really happy with it. Um, so next is the oil-free acne, um, acne wash daily face scrub, and this has little like micro beads in it. Those little like um, uh, exfoliating exfoliating like um, little beads in it and um, this is really good for like um, an everyday use I use it um, at the end the well, I use it twice a day actually I use it in the morning when I wake up and I use it at night before I go to bed and if I have makeup on um, I wouldn't I mean it doesn't really like take off all your makeup um, so I have to always either do it twice or um, use some kind of like sponge like not a sponge but like a wash rag and um just scrub off all my makeup if i'm wearing makeup that day um but other than that i'm really happy and impressed with it because it's very moisturizing a lot of times i don't have to use moisturizer when i'm going to work in the morning i have to always use moisturizer because i need some kind of sunblock on my face but um at night when i'm going to bed i just do this and um my eye cream and i call it a day i don't really like fuss too much with my face um only if I have breakouts. That's another thing. Um, I don't know what's causing my breakouts. I haven't been wearing makeup on a, um, on a daily basis um, because I've been getting too many breakouts. And another thing is because it's just too hot to wear makeup every day. This face wash is really good, ladies. If you're in the market for a new face wash, um, check this out. It's very moisturizing. Um, this is the Revitalift L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother, and Oh my god, I can't tell you this thing is like wonderful. Um, I got this uh, in a contest that I won, not a contest, um, in a giveaway that I won from um, I'm Jessica Olivia, her channel. She has a channel on YouTube and um, oh my god, I love her so much. She's wonderful. I love watching her videos. Um, she has all kinds of, she does all kinds of things in her videos, um, not just makeup or anything like that, but it's like skincare, um, food, um, all kinds of things so ladies if uh, you want to check out her channel please do she's wonderful I am Jessica Olivia and I will leave um, the link for her channel below um, but that's where I got this from um, at first I was a little iffy because I'm just always iffy with when it comes to putting things on my face but I said let me try it I, when I opened it up I was so impressed because it reminded me of the um, professional by um, it is right there uh, professional by uh, Benefit, I think it is. It's um, almost the same thing, I swear to God. Um, 
I don't know if you can see it, but um, it's just the same consist consistency. It's like pasty a little, so it like covers your pores perfect. It doesn't like I have a problem with my nose because my the pores on my nose is like huge, so I always have to make sure I use something on my nose, and then I have to use something different for my face. So that's and lately I've been using the whole thing on my face, but um, I've noticed that um, it's been helping me out a lot with that. It just it's like putting a, like a a thin layer, another thin layer of skin on your on your face. It's so funny, but um, if anybody wants me to do a review on it or some, or uh, want to see how I use it, um, please leave me a comment down below. I'll definitely show you how I use it. Foundation. I've been using the these three. I've been sticking to these three for the whole month, for the whole lately, for the whole summer. Um, I was using a BB cream by Garnier, but I think that's what started this here. I don't know, so I had to stop using it to see if that was it, but. I don't know but lately I've been using this these three uh, the makeup forever HD and the shade is n n153 uh, this is the Mac mineralized foundation and it is NC 42 and the uh, L'Oreal true match Lumi in what is it w6 warm sun beige Oh my god, I can't tell you how much, how crazy I've been going with these three. Uh, another thing I noticed that I've been going, um, going back to, I, in the winter time I don't really use this too much, but, um, I find in the summertime I have to use it all the time. This is the, um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and my shade is Medium Dark. Um, I've been using this like crazy this month. I don't like to put any kind of powder on my face because it just makes me look so ugly and dry, so... I, I try to stay away from it in the winter time because I don't have this problem. But I notice in the summertime I do. Um, I do have to use it because I'm just always so sweaty, and my foundation looks terrible without powder on it. So that's um, the Mac Mineralized Skin Finish in medium deep. I think it. Is. Yeah, medium deep. Um, I actually purchased this probably about six months ago, and I probably used it maybe like three times, and then I purchased other stuff and I started I, I kind of like neglected it but then lately I've been, I found that I've been using it a lot and this is the Coastal Sense 28 Neutral Palette by Coastal Sense even though I just said that oh my god I'm in love with this I don't know why I haven't been um I've been neglecting it but um this is like uh the perfect palette for even beginners uh if you just want to like learn how to do like simple just plain eyes or if you want to do a smoky eye you can definitely try a smoky eye with this because it has the black in it the black is not too dark though so sometimes i have to use something else but this is perfect just for like a good smoky eye but um they have a pink in there they have like a purplish a dark purple um some of them are shimmery some of them are not but i notice even though that they're shimmery they don't show up on my on, on, on me i don't know about anybody else they don't really show up too much on my skin so that's another thing that i love um they have uh colors perfect colors for the crease for your transition zone um something for all over your lid if you want to do something neutral i mean i'm, I'm telling you there's so many looks that you can try out with this palette like a good palette also to keep in your kit um i have one for my kit and i um i can't tell you i i'm, I'm telling you I'm, I'm really happy with this and i don't know why i've been like neglecting it. my poor little palette i love it so much so yes ladies if you are interested this is uh the neutral 28 neutral palette by coastal sense l'oreal infallible what are these eyeshadows pigments um i have two right now but i've been um using them like crazy uh the two that i have is amber rush and this one, my best friend gave it to me. Um, glistening gar Garnet. Garnet, something like that. I don't know. And this one is... This one reminds me of cran um, Cranberry uh, by MAC. I'll swatch it for you. Except it's a little bit more pigmented than the one. Um, that this one I have for a little bit. Look at that. Um, they're very pigmented, ladies. They, look, they go on really smooth and easy. Um, you don't have to use a Fix Plus or any water. Um, you can if you want to, but I'm telling you, you really don't need it. They don't have a lot of fallout. That's another thing that I like about them. Um, you put it on. They don't go all over your eyes. They're very comfortable to wear. Very beautiful and vibrant colors. Rimmel Scandal Eye by Rimmel. It's waterproof, scandalized, um, eye coal. 
and this one is a nude I think it is yes new 005 this is another thing that I've been um, going crazy with I'm so satisfied with it um, I put it on my waterline as well and um, it just looks so pretty and vibrant um, it just makes your eyes look so alive and open um, so that's another thing that I'm gonna be buying and I also use this in my kit too another thing is the Anna Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz oh my god I'm so happy so impressed with this um, I'm just a little you know iffy because you know it's 20 bucks and this thing you know it's like uh, you know, it's like, it's it's very hard when you know something's really good. But I buy these for my kids also um, because they're so simple and easy. And you just have to use a very light hand with it. Um, I use it for, I don't use any powder on my eyes. I just use the, this to do my whole eyebrow. And um, the little tip of it it's very very small so it's very easy um another thing is i haven't been using too many lip products just um like lip gloss a lot um on a day-to-day -day basis and this one is the mac lip gloss in couture um culture culture cultured culture yes and i'm wearing this right now on top of cream cup by mac and i love this um lip gloss it's it's definitely not the type of um lip gloss that is going to be all cakey and nasty and builds up that nasty film around your lips no nope. and the color is like perfect it's very pigmented so it kind of sometimes people ask me if i'm wearing lipstick but um i'm really not um i'm wearing it today of course let me put some back on i love this color um i brought it months and months and months ago and i just i don't know I don't know why I haven't, um, I love it. Um, so I won a contest last month, um, it's for, um, Naked Minerals, and I've been, they sent me, um, I, I was like the grand prize winner, so I won, um, oh my god, what did I win? I won a bron bronzers, um, oh my god, I can't even remember, I brought up uh, eye pencils, brushes, um, a face, I, it was just like this big, a big package, I'm telling you, I can't even think right now of all the stuff that I want but one thing I noticed I've been going crazy with and I've been using like crazy are the brushes there's more brushes I don't know where they're at um but I think it was like 10 brushes that I came with and these brushes are awesome I'm telling you. uh last but not least um I had to get this because everybody everybody has this brush and I don't know what took me so long to get it but um this is the Sigma flat top kabuki brush um which is um the number is F80 oh my god I'm so impressed with this brush I was so shocked when I bought it. I was a little iffy because I own the one by Sedona Lace which is the 928 and I'm not bashing it at all. It's a very good brush but um I noticed after a while my makeup um my foundation when I was applying it was getting really streaky and I don't know why I can't figure it out. And that doesn't happen with this brush. I buff my foundation in really good. Um it goes on really smooth. It um I just do it so quickly I'm telling you usually I use my beauty blender or I've been using my real techniques one but I find the real techniques one it, it leaves it's, it's starting to get it's starting to you know aggravate me because my um when I put on my foundation it's been streaky so I have to be careful with it then I have to go and pat it down with a beauty blender but my beauty blender I love I'm always gonna have my beauty blender and I'm always gonna use it but um, this lately, oh my God, I'm telling you, this like leaves your 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 foundation looking so beautiful, beautiful and flawless and very airbrushed, and it's very quick and easy to um, apply it. So and it goes in, it gets into the little corners right here, real good. So I'm very happy and impressed that I purchased this brush. So oh my God, finally, I felt like that took forever. I'm finally done with my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informational. Um, I hope the products that I use, you guys will try them and let me know how they work for you, um, if they do work. Um, so yeah, that's about it. So if you have any requests, any comments or anything like that, please leave them down below. And I will definitely see you in the next video, guys. Mwah.